ServiceMate tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video on how to use ServiceMate. ServiceMate is a cloud-based field service management software that helps businesses manage their operations more efficiently. Whether you are a small business owner or a large enterprise, ServiceMate can help streamline your workflow and improve customer satisfaction. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of setting up and using ServiceMate. We will show you how to create an account and provide an overview of the features and functionalities. Additionally, we will demonstrate how to add a client and create a job for them. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using ServiceMate, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, click on the free trial button. Clicking on this button will redirect you to the registration page. Here you have the option to sign up using an email account or link it to your Xero account. Choose the method that best suits your needs. Once you sign up, you'll be guided through a series of on-screen prompts to customize your account. This step is crucial as it helps the system adapt its features to your business needs. Once you finish personalizing your account, it's ready to use. You'll be redirected to your account dashboard automatically. The ServiceMate dashboard is the command center where you manage all your tasks and operations. You will see a top menu located at the top of your screen. Each tab in this menu serves a specific function. The Home tab displays your getting started progress and offers quick access to a variety of features. These include the dispatch board, client history, features and integrations, materials and services, invoicing system, reports, and settings. The dispatch board is where you organize and oversee all jobs, enabling you to dispatch tasks to your team members efficiently. The invoicing tab is responsible for all your billing activities. You can generate, send, and track invoices through this tab, ensuring you maintain control over your cash flow. The Reports tab provides you with a comprehensive overview of your operation's performance, with various metrics indicating your business's strengths and areas for improvement. The Account tab allows you to manage all your account details, including history, clients, features and integrations, materials and services, and settings. Lastly, the New Job button is a key feature of the ServiceMate dashboard. It allows you to quickly and easily add a new job into your workflow, with the form prompting you for the necessary details to ensure each job is tracked and managed efficiently. Now, let's see how to add a client in ServiceMate. Adding a client in ServiceMate is an integral part of managing your business operations efficiently. This process entails collecting and storing relevant client details for future jobs, invoices, and communication. To add a client in ServiceMate, click on the Home tab from the top menu. From the Home tab, you'll have quick access to various features, including the Client option. Once you select the Client option, you're taken to the Client page, where you have two options to add clients. Add Client and Bulk Import. Using the Add Client option is suitable for individual client registration, whereas the Bulk Import option is ideal if you need to add multiple clients simultaneously by uploading a CSV file containing your client data. For this tutorial, we'll focus on the Add Client option. Upon clicking this, a pop-up window will appear, asking you to enter the client's details. The Customer field is where you input the client's name, while the Address field is for the physical location details of the client. The Billing section is where you detail the client's first and last name, email, phone, mobile, and role. It's essential to fill this data accurately as it plays a crucial role in communication and billing processes. Next, you'll enter the client's billing details. The Billing Address field requires you to fill in Attention, Address, City, State, Postcode, and Country. The Tax Rate field is for inputting the tax rate applicable to the client, while the Payment Terms field lets you specify the terms of payment agreed upon with the client. Once you have filled all these fields, click on the Save option at the bottom right side of the pop-up window to save the client's details. This process ensures your client information is correctly stored and easily accessible for future interactions and transactions. Next, let's see how to add a new job in ServiceMate. Adding a new job in ServiceMate is a routine task, integral to the efficient operation of your business. The ability to add new work can streamline your workflow and allow for better job management. To add a new job in ServiceMate, navigate to the top menu and click on the New Job button. This action will redirect you to a new page, where a pop-up window will appear for a job detail entry. Firstly, you'll come across the Job Details section. 
The customer field is where you input the client's name to whom the job pertains. The PO field is used to enter the purchase order number, if applicable, which helps track the transaction. Job status helps you define the job's current state, whether it's in progress, completed, or pending. Job category is aimed to classify the task based on the nature of the job for better organization. Job address is crucial for field jobs as it specifies the location where the job needs to be performed. The description field is for providing a brief about the nature of the job. In the contact section, you must enter the client's first and last name, email, phone, and mobile numbers. This information is crucial for communication regarding the job. Once the job details are entered, click on the Quotes and Invoicing section located on the Job Details section to provide billing information. The Billing Address field is where the client's invoice should be sent. In the Work Completed section, you must add a summary of the service to your quote or invoice, providing an overview of the job done. After providing the necessary details, click on the Save button to store the job information. This step finalizes the process of adding a new job in ServiceMate, ensuring that all job-related information is stored systematically and is easily accessible for future reference. When it comes to pricing, ServiceMate offers a variety of plans to cater to businesses at varying stages of growth and with different operational needs. The Light plan is ideal for sole traders and offers all the essential features for a streamlined business operation. For the first 12 months, access to this plan is free, after which it costs $9 per month. For those just starting their business, the starter plan is available for $20.30 per month. This plan is designed to give a new business the advantage of having a smart system in place from the get-go. As your business expands, you might find the growing plan more suitable. At $55.30 per month, this plan is designed to keep up with business growth and unlock powerful forms, supporting more extensive operations and more substantial client-based management. The premium plan is available at $104.30 per month, ideal for businesses experiencing high job turnover. This plan is designed to transform how you work and streamline your operations, allowing you to manage a larger volume of jobs more freely. Finally, for businesses looking to optimize at scale, the Premium Plus plan provides complete control over operations at a cost of $244.30 per month. This top-tier plan is designed for established businesses with large-scale operations, offering features and capabilities to facilitate optimal efficiency and control. Each of these plans is thoughtfully designed to meet the unique needs and challenges encountered at different stages of business growth, providing the tools necessary for efficient and effective operation. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using ServiceMate. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take